Hello guys, this is the fifth video in the series, in, in the Decentraland introductory series. We have covered a lot of interesting topics in the first four videos and I believe this might be the final gem that you may have been looking for right from the start. Uh, we are going to talk about marketplaces and about NFTs in Decentraland. And before I start, I just want to say that this is an introductory video like the first four. This is aimed at people just finding out about Decentraland. About, this is for people who just became curious about what's possible inside Decentraland, how the community works, how to get started in the world. So this is not an advanced guide. I just have to say this because there is so much depth and so much detail in the world of NFTs, in, in the world of Decentraland NFTs as well, that this particular video is not going to cover everything you need to know. The goal here is really to show you two marketplaces that are really important to be aware of when you're starting out. Because I just remember how I was starting and I did not know about one of the marketplaces and its importance. And it wasn't a big deal, but it did feel like I would have liked to have known that starting out, right? So I'm going to show you that. And then we're going to talk, you know, just a little bit about the whole wearable situation in the central land and what's possible in the future. All right. First things first, what you're seeing on the screen now is the native Decentraland marketplace. And here you can buy and sell Decentraland wearables or Decentraland NFTs. It's divided into several subsections. These are all items that you can wear on your avatar in the, in the Decentraland world, right? At the same time, you also have the land marketplace that is divided into parcels and estates. And Estates are basically collections of parcels and multiple lands put together into estates. But essentially, these are the same things. In this marketplace, you know, you can always have the mana price available. You will also always have the coordinates where the land is located. Uh, I imagine many of you have become really interested in Decentraland because they did find out that you can actually own property inside the world a concept that is becoming more and more popular uh, with with the uh, introduction of the blockchain technology. So this is the marketplace for land. Just be sure to study the land prices carefully. Do not overpay for your land. Uh, the spreads between prices for very similar land plots can be substantial. Then there is a third section that I want to mention only quickly. There is a names section, so you can buy and sell names. Now, if you're just starting out, chances are that you haven't registered a custom name for 100 mana just yet. And you may actually want to buy your name here on the secondary marketplace. But note that these prices are substantially higher than the 100 mana that you would pay for a custom name that you would come up with yourself. So people are speculating on the future of Decentraland and the fact that maybe these names will be able to fetch this type of prices. We will have to see. So just be aware that there is this section with the names. Uh, there is a section with the wearables, which I think is the most popular one. And then of course there is the land section. Well, I think this pretty much covers the marketplace with Hindi Central Land. You can buy and sell you, your own items which are available under my assets. And uh, I think the second most important marketplace you need to know about, and maybe it is the, actually the more important one, is the OpenSea marketplace. Like OpenSea is a huge platform for NFTs in general. So it covers all sorts of project, not only Decentraland, but pretty much all of the important NFT-based projects today. So if you do want to check out what's going on with Decentraland wearables on OpenSea, for example, you need to have, of course, your, uh, your MetaMask wallet to log into the platform. You need to create your account. 
and then it will automatically recognize all of the NFTs that you have inside your wallet. So if you have created a name inside Decentraland already, or if you have bought wearables or property already, you will be able to see those also inside this platform here. But now let's just quickly search for Decentraland wearables. There is also the Decentraland section for land listings, but let's just have a look at the Decentraland wearables section. I like to sort this by listed recently. So I know what's the, what are the actual fresh items that have just come onto the platform. And then a lot of the times you do want to also filter for everything that is for sale, right? Um, well, it depends. Like if you're looking for something like Bitcoin eyewear, oh, is it Bitcoin eyewear? What you will get is all of the listings of all of the um, Bitcoin eyewear NFTs. But if you just want to see the ones that are available for sale, you will need to narrow down in order to see the ones that actually have a mana price attached to them. What's special about this marketplace is that you can actually buy and sell in different kind of currencies, not only mana, but also Ethereum and other currencies um, that are you know, popular for all of those different projects using their own currencies. I, I think, well, we'll have to see. Uh, I'm not actually sure if there is anything beyond Mana and Ethereum that you can use. Well, we would actually have to go through the process of selling an item. Let's see if I can just spontaneously check what will happen. I do not I do not sell a whole lot of items at this point in time so okay so my experience with it is somewhat limited now there is also one important difference uh, that between the native marketplace and the open sea marketplace in the fees I believe selling on the native marketplace has a 5% fee don't quote me on that but it's probably higher than what it is here so people like using OpenSea because not only can they use Ethereum, but they can also have lower fees here. Well, the thing is, um, you can use four different currencies here right now. So yeah, this is what we were looking for. So you have DAI, MANA, and then USDC and Ethereum. So here you go. This is OpenSea. This is what's possible on this platform. This is the second marketplace you absolutely need to know about. And then I think this pretty much wraps up video five, unless I have something else in my notes. Well, I have a mention here about the future of trading inside Decentraland and rumors exist that there will be a possibility of trading items between players directly inside Decentraland. But this is not possible today in December 2020, but I have heard that this kind of, this kind of uh, feature is planned and is on the roadmap. So eventually you will be able to trade items directly in game. And this will be then the third way of exchanging goods beyond the native Decentraland marketplace and OpenSea.io. Well, I think, you know, you are well equipped to get started in Decentraland knowing about these marketplaces. Um, I hope this series has covered the fundamentals of Decentraland sufficiently. Do join the discords, do join Twitter, do join the different events inside Decentraland, meet people, and you will eventually start enjoying the experience and discover what, what else is possible that I might not have covered in a whole lot of detail here in these five interactive videos. I hope you enjoyed this. I would really like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. I will be publishing content on Decentraland going forward, hopefully a lot more frequently. And please hit the like button. This would really help to make this video more visible to the rest of the community and also to people looking to get started inside Decentraland. And we all benefit from a growing community inside DCL. Well, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for your interest 
have fun inside Decentraland and follow me on Twitter. My handle is at SwissDCL. All right, guys. Peace.